Hello Scorpio and this is your April forecast and we're going to take a look at what is it's up for you and you know what you're starting off this month with Venus and the Sun conjunct. Now the Sun is you that's your essence right and when Venus is conjuncting the Sun well Venus is all about you know love romance all the good things in life and so forth and it just makes you that much more attractive so you are going to start off the month feeling like this magnet just attracting all those good things into life whether it is you know relationships or just attracting those valuable good things that you appreciate so much i feel that it's a loving giving receiving period for you and we have the new moon also that is going to be passing right over these two planets or well, the sun and venus and will on the 11th um, light up in that sixth house, the same area. So, of course, the new moon is all about uh, the time we place our intentions. And since it is this area, it's about your health. What you look at as being important to you. Uh, and feeling that maybe you can look at what you're eating, not eating, uh, getting on board with things that are important to you. Um, as far as scheduling, uh, you might have been very busy there, you know, February, especially in March, uh, in March. But now it's like, try to figure out what is essential and then hold to that so that you can set up a smooth sailing schedule where you're not overworked, uh, which is very easy to do because if we look at Mar uh, Mars, Mars is in the sign of Gemini. And you know, that's a dualistic sign. And so, you know, you can uh, split your attention energetically. And when that happens, well, you still get a lot of things done, but are you able to complete and fulfill or are you feeling that you're just running without uh, reaching the target? So I feel that this month by, by looking at your schedule early on, it will set you up for a smoother sailing here throughout the month of April. But when we're speaking of Mars, it is in the area of your shared resources. And so it might be a time where you and your partner are looking at who's bringing what to the table. You know, are you carrying everything or is he or she carrying everything? It, it's a time to kind of look at what is fair, what is balanced between you, your partner. But not only that, but also... Um, Mars is looking over your investments, your savings. Um, you know, I, I feel in this area that you could also be looking at how to save money in a different way, maybe a new way. Uh, and of course, you know, anything cryptocurrencies are really hot right now, coming to people's attention. Uh, so there's Bitcoins, Ethereums, Doggy Coins, all those things. And because it's in the sign of Gemini, you might find yourself being curious. What is that new currency or currencies, plurally, right? And instead of, for example, having your savings sitting in a savings account in the bank, which gives 0%, these cryptocurrencies, you know, they, they're jumping uh, 10, 50, 100, sometimes several hundred percent, you know, in a very short amount of time. So I can see how several are getting on board putting some of her savings in there, and then watching the little ticker bar, right? And uh, so Gemini is good for this because it makes you curious. And when you're curious, what do you do? You research it. Um, so keep that in mind, especially, and I say that because of Uranus and Taurus right now. Um, and Taurus rules money. Uranus rules the internet. And it rules thinking outside of the box. It's more futuristic. And of course, this they're saying this cryptocurrency is the currency of the future and how everything is digitalized right now and everything is on the Internet. It's more creating this one world type of buy-sell. So uh, we're going to see that over the next few years, you know, for as long as the transit of Uranus is there, how it's going to change our monetary systems. Right now, you're on it. With Mars here in this area, it's perfect for you of all the zodiac to really go in and look into it. It'll be two years before you um, get Mars's energy to support you. 
then you might have lost a lot of what you could have won, right? If you look into everything of savings, investments, and so forth, you can actually uh, do really well right there, Scorpio. Um, we have, so the first of April, we have the Sun and, and Venus with the, the support from Saturn, which is really locking things in. We have the new moon on the 11th. We want to circle that on the calendar. And the third date that we're looking at is the 26th of April. And that is when the full moon is in your sign. That means in your first house, Scorpio. And of course, the full moon is harvest time. Then we're receiving, right? We, we're, you, and in the first house, it, it's like the light is on you. You are in the limelight for whatever reason, uh, there on the 26th. And I feel it has to do with your relationship. And I say that because there's an opposition from the full moon, and then we've got Uranus over here, which always brings a sense of surprise, a wow factor, and oh my God, right? And it's not saying whether it's good or bad, it's just a surprise. So maybe you're thinking of surprising your partner, here around this state, or it could be your partner that's going to come and surprise you because it's affecting you. The first house, the I am feeling. So yeah, those are the three major dates that we do want to pay attention to. And in the meanwhile, you know, it's a good month. It's a calm month. There isn't a whole lot of drama going on. Uh, on the family front, it's looking good, Scorpio. You got Jupiter and you got Saturn in your fourth house, and the fourth house is all about family, roots, security. It's the foundation of your life. You're really working hard now to kind of settle something into a mold, and you have a good time with this because you still have, you know, what is Saturn's only 11 degrees, so it's going to go up to 29 degrees before it changes signs, so we still have like a year and a half of that. But in that time span, you will be looking at what is important to my family. You know, what is important also to my parents because that's Saturn, right? And it's you looking at you as a parent, if you have children, how am I doing? Am I doing good? Am I doing okay? Saturn might sometimes feel like it's a little bit more responsibility, which it is uh, because we have to live up to the challenge of Saturn and right now for this period, for another year and a half, um, Saturn is looking at how you're living up to that responsibility in your chart. But we have that joy ride of Jupiter, which visit, it's, it visits us every once uh, every 12 years. And so there's also that expansion in the family and that joy, the happy go lucky type energy. And some of you, some of you might even think, uh, that you'd like to perhaps move, even though I'm not saying it this month. But Jupiter likes to expand the area, wants living space, right? It wants more room to have wind under your wings. So that might start out as a process, kind of looking into, uh, especially now uh, when you have Mars in the 8,000, looking over your investments and your savings. It's like, can we afford that? Can we afford to expand? Uh, and even if it's not expanding, you might think about wanting to renew something, upgrade. Um, so it's all good. Uh, like I said, very little to none drama much in these charts here for April. So go with the flow and enjoy yourself. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, finding what it is that tickles your heart pink because where we put our passion, that is where we become successful. Why? Because we're all invested into it, right? We can't really be successful with all the other things going on, uh, floating around because our attention isn't really attached to it. Right now, it is your relationship, it is your health, and it is your income, shared resources this month that becomes super, super important. So if you can follow up on it, you will see that this is going to pay off in the long run. So Scorpio, as always, from my heart to yours, thank you for following. 